Hey fam, it's Kim George here from Your Sheep Geek. I hope you guys are doing well today. I wanted to drop in and just share um, some, a real quick tip with you guys or share something that I found to be very helpful and that I think you guys um, will find to be very helpful um, too. Before we dive in, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment, push this video through the algorithm on to help it go through YouTube and all of that good stuff. And then also, I do want to thank you guys so, so much um, for your comments and things on the last video I did. Guys, I had no idea that a lot of you would be commenting on that video. I guess I should have thought about that um, because Creative Fabrica is such a huge uh, platform. And I know a lot of us, especially self-publishers and, and um, you know, uh, passive income creators and things, um, you know, we use the platform for a lot. So there was a lot of good commentary on that last uh, video. If you guys hadn't checked that video out, I'm going to put the link below in the description. And also I'm going to put an icon here that's going to pop up where you can see that. But today I want to switch gears and talk about um, a tool that I've been using that has been pretty game changing for me in a lot of ways. And that tool is Ideogram, Audiogram, I'm country, so forgive me in my pronunciation. But specifically, uh, one of the things that I have been making a lot of these days has been activity books. And um, what I love about Audiogram and Ideogram is that there are so many different things that you can make with this tool. Um, I've been doing a lot of cover designs and redoing covers with this tool, and then also doing a lot of activity book related pages like coloring book pages and then um, also spot the difference book pages. So what I wanted to show you really quickly is um, how you can use this tool to do spot the difference pages. So here is one of the pages that I was able to create with uh, audiogram. This is a spot the difference puzzle page. Um, as you can see here, you have the one image here on the top, and then you have the second image here on the bottom. And um, so you can see that um, it's done a pretty good job of putting this together. And what I like about this is um, you can actually take this page, you can download this, you can add it into our tool like Canva. And then in Canva, you can come in here and you can change some things even further with the magic edit tool and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to show you really quickly how I was able to generate this page and then how you can take a page like this and edit it really quickly over in Canva using the magic edit tool. So the first things first is coming up with the prompt for this specific spot the difference page. So what I did was I used none other than ChatGPT. All right. And what I did was over in ChatGPT, I just asked it to give me three scenarios for a spot the difference coloring page for adults to complete. Now, as you can guess here, you if you were doing this for children, you can do this, you know, change the prompt and do for children. If you were doing this for seniors, you can do for seniors, so on and so forth. So there's so many different things you can do to kind of change up this prompt, but I just put for adults to complete here. And so what it did is it gave me three different scenarios of spot the difference pages that you can different that I can use, okay? One is going to be the vintage bookstore, Another one was a magical forest tea party. And then the last one is a Parisian cafe at sunset. So I just went ahead and used the first one. And so basically I just copied this entire scenario here and I put this over in ideogram. And basically though, I did add some more information here to this prompt to make it, to tweak it, to get it to look the way that I wanted it to look. So instead of just adding the prompt as is, I did a black and white at the front, vintage style, bold and easy, um, spot the difference coloring page, and then of a cozy old bookstore, blah, 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 which is right here. This is the scene. And then these are the differences right here. OK, so it says there are several differences between the two images. So you can see here. So all of this is right here. And so basically what I did was I did uh, generate and then audiogram or ideogram is going to generate this spot the difference page for me. Now, I will say that sometimes it will come up with something that's going to look a little funky and so sometimes you will have to keep generating the page until you can get things to look the way that you really want it to look um now one of the key things that you definitely want to add when you're doing this here is to make sure that you do a black and white um 
kind of coloring page somewhere into the prompt to get it to come up in black and white, all right? So you can see here, this is the new image that it generated as an example. This actually looks pretty good. So um, here you could download this image and then you can go into Canva and change some things up. So here's another one that it generated. And that's a little too busy for me. I actually think this one is a little bit more clean. But again, if you don't like this image, you can go back and you can keep generating until you find something that you like um, a little bit more. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click generate again. And we're just going to come back and I'm going to see what it's going to give me. Okay, so here is the second page that it generated for me right here. And then here is another page. This is again a little too busy. So I'm going to regenerate this once more and see if I'm gonna get something better. So what I can do is I can do a black and white vintage style, bold and easy. Let's do large print, large images, spot the difference. Okay, and so we're gonna see what it's gonna come back with after this prompt. Okay, so it took me a little bit to get to this. And like I said, sometimes you will have to continue to prompt, and this is with AI in general, until you find something that really does work for you. So here is the image that I feel like is um, kind of close to what I want. I actually changed some of the prompt in here and took out some of the um, content that it had from ChatGPT and kind of added my own thing because I wanted to make this uh, image look a little bit easier to spot the differences in. So um, I went in and I, I changed it to a black and white vintage style spot the difference coloring page of a cozy bookshelf stacked high with large books, a ladder leaning against the shelves, a reading nook with a comfy chair and a cup of tea, blah, 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 and etc. All right. Um, and so this is what it gave me. Now, one of the things that I do love about um, Audiogram that you can do is that, for example, if you find a image based on the prompt that you've generated or the prompt that you've used, it's gonna give you four different images to use. You can actually go through and click on your images separately and find the one that you really like. And once you find the one that you really like, what you can do is come under the section that says magic prompt, click on more, and you can actually copy this prompt and use this as the main prompt that you want to continue prompting repeatedly until you find the image that you like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to paste this in here. This is the main prompt that I wanna use from the magic prompt. And I want to come in here and I can tweak this a little bit more and fine tune it until I really get an image that I like. And so while I like this, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do a cozy bookshelf with large books all right all right and then we'll make it make this image bold and easy to color okay so we're going to generate and we're going to see what comes back okay so here is the final page that i was able to come up with with again going to the magic prompt section and making some tweets to um to this actual prompt so i went in one more time and i made a tweet to the end to make sure that I put make this image bold and easy to color in black and white. And then of course I changed the um, beginning of the prompt to do just one cozy bookshelf instead of a large number of books to make it a little bit easier for things that are in the spot the difference page to stand out. And so this is what I came up with in ideogram or what audiogram came up with for me. So we can see that this does look close enough with the um, to the image. Um, as far as a spot the difference page. And so what you can do is once you get a page that you're really happy with, is you're gonna go here, you're gonna go ahead and click download as a PNG file to download the image. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over into Canva, for example, and then I'm gonna upload this image in here. And I'm going to upload this into this page. And then we're gonna start using the magic editor to take some things out to really beef up this spot, the difference page. All right, so here's the page. And so I'm just gonna basically stretch this out, widen this a bit, and then stretch it all the way out and widen it a little bit more, all right? And then what I can do is I can come over to elements and I can add a border around this. So I can just do this here. I'm gonna stretch this all the way out, stretch this down. I'm gonna go here, change this. I'm gonna go here to border style, add a border. There you go. You can make it thicker or make it smaller, however you wanna do this. I'm gonna keep it at about a three. And then I'm gonna to go to position to back, okay? And then actually, no, I'm gonna keep it like this, 
right here. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and scroll in a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to go position to back because I do need to make some edits to this page and then I'll bring it forward once I'm done. So now what I'm going to do is click on edit in Canva and I'm using Canva Pro in order to do this. And we have a couple of tools and one that I'm going to be using um, a couple of tools that you can use. I'm going to be using the magic eraser tool. And with this tool, you can come in, you can actually start erasing some of the things that you see in this image. So, for example, I already see over here in this picture that of course this picture is different from this one you can see that this is different from this and so what i'm going to do though is i'm going to make them i'm going to go ahead and remove this oops go back so let me do that again go to edit magic eraser and then i'm going to increase this and then i'm going to decrease the brush size and i'm going to start just making some changes of these uh, of this picture right here from the spot the difference page so I'm going to remove this, okay? And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to remove this page. It looks kind of weird anyway. Or not remove this page, but remove this image from this graphic part or this part of this graphic right here. And so I'm going to just erase this all the way out. And we're going to remove this right here, okay? And then I'm going to go to erase. And so Canva is going to do his best to erase this. And sometimes this works great and sometimes it doesn't. So sometimes you might have to go in and you might have to do this several times in order for this to work. Okay, so I'm going to erase again and let's see if it gets rid of it. If it doesn't, oh, it's all it's almost out. So I'm going to do one more time. All right, hopefully that'll get, okay, perfect. So now I'm going to erase this, or actually I'm going to keep this here because this is one of the differences in the page, right? So we can see that in this image, we have kind of a, frame with another square and then we have a frame with just a single square so that's one difference right there between the pages so what i can do is i can go over to elements and i can do things like i can add a flower here we just do black and white and i'm going to just do free elements so i'm going to select this click free i'm just going to look for a flower that i can add to this image so i can add this one in here right here and then I can also add it down here. And then people looking at this page should be able to tell that, oh, the difference in this is that this is a frame within another frame in the image. And then this is just one single frame and the image. So that's an example of some things that you can do for this spot the difference page. And then you can go in and you can make some more edits, you know, remove some other things from this image, you know, add other things to these shelves to really make these look as different as you possibly can. Another thing you can do to split this page is to come over here into elements. And I'm going to go to where it says shapes, I'm going to go to line. And then basically, you can just put a line between the two images to really just you know, try to separate them as much as possible. And then I can just decrease the line weight here. Okay. And then that can basically just separate, oops, the two pages. And then once you're done with making all of the changes that you want to make, you've done everything that you want to do, you can just go to position and click backwards to add that frame around it. And that, that is it. Now, this can really make things easier for you for putting together a spot the difference book, you know, that somebody could really enjoy. And so um, I just wanted to, again, show you guys how you can do this. First off, using ChatGPT to come up with your prompts then using ideogram to actually prompt it and to create the actual image or to generate the image and then using canva to put everything together as a page and this is a six by i'm sorry 8.5 by 11 but it's with bleed but you can do this on an 8.5 by 11 image in canva and so the dimensions that i use for this page is 8.625 by 11.25 which is with bleed and then basically all i did is i went to file and you can do um, in, in um, Canva Pro, create a new design, and then you just come to, where is it, custom size. Here it is right here, custom size. You can do 8.5 by 11, or you can do 8.625 by 11.25 if you're doing a, a book with bleed. And that's pretty much it. And so you can imagine going through, making about a good 30 or 40 of these pages, putting a blank page in between, and you'll have an easy spot the page um, 
book that you can sell on KDP and then you can just add a cover. So I just, again, wanted to show you guys how you can use this tool to do this. It's a really great program. Again, I've been using it for a lot of stuff and I found it to be very helpful for doing things like this that you can add to an activity book as a page or that you can just create a huge spot the difference book um, activity book that you can sell on KDP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this quick little tutorial. If you have any questions for me, let me know. If you want to learn more about using AI to do cover designs, you can check out Easy AI Low Content Book Design for that. But uh, let me know your thoughts on this. And if, if any of you guys are, are using Audiogram or Ideogram, I'd love to know, you know, how's it been going for you? So anyways, I'll see you guys in another video. Take care and stay safe.